Hi folks, good morning from Donegal in Ireland. Jonathan Powers, my name. I am the founder of Catered Websites and in this presentation I'm going to show you how to get more email subscribers and return traffic and build a community around your brand by adding a meal planner with nutritional information to your WordPress website. So we'll visit the demo website to get started and I'll show you how a user will use this to create meal plans they will visit the site and they will go to the recipe index and browse your recipes and in the recipe card that's built with the wordpress plugin called wordpress recipe maker we have a feature here save to recipe box and there's a pop-up notice register for a free account to use the save to recipe box feature in this tutorial video series that i built i have uh, set up a free uh, a free recipe box for your members that they don't pay for but in another video maybe in the next one i will cover how to set up a recipe membership site if you're running coaching programs along with uh, giving people recipes and stuff that would be suitable for something like that but yes yeah, so you have the recipe card there that explains the recipe and if they click on that button it brings them to the registration page. I've also included an information landing page here. So that explains the benefits of meal plans. And there's a video here for website visitors that explains how the meal planner works as well. And I explain here what's in the recipe card again and more information here about what's in the recipe card portion control recipe share and things like that and then we have register for free which goes to the registration page again and we have an faq section here and so i've provided the templates for all these pages as well folks so this isn't i'll get, I'll get to that as well that this isn't that difficult to set up at all it's all clearly explained in the video sequence here in the courses i have it all explained step by step there what you need to do and yeah so this is a great way of getting subscribers like there is other websites using it there's call me pmc there over in america i actually built that there's a link back to my website there catered websites i built that for paula and it's been extremely successful for her to get subscribers there's another big site here taste better from scratch they're using it as well to build their audience and their um subscriber list you have save recipe there and it does the same thing go to collections and we've saved collections there so that's there so i want to go back here now and go to the recipe box registration So we will create a username. We will put in our email address. We'll create a strong password. We'll enter our first name and our surname and agree to terms and conditions and we'll register and we'll be redirected to the, to the recipe box here. So the thing is, I'm using a WordPress plugin called Beaver Themer so that when a user creates account, we have personalization here that it displays the first name that they entered on the form just now when the registration. So that's a nice touch. You can leave that out if you don't want to include that. But a lot of people expect personalization now with free and paid for um websites you know like amazon use it in your accounts and stuff like that and a lot of news websites are using it now because they're all getting into uh, memberships as well so anyway to explain this so what you can do as well like you're providing a free service but you can have ads here you could um partner with other companies and stuff if you're a food blogger you could advertise maybe chef services in your local area anything at all you can you can put there for products or services 
coaching cookery classes over zoom all that stuff so it's all about building the community your audience around the brand so what there's different options here you can provide people with meal plans that are done for them okay so i have one there for uh, one meal a day and then they can add pre-made collections so i have another one here say you're running fitness programs you can have a get fit a weight loss seven day three meal plan and then if they go to add collection these are blank templates which makes it very easy for them to use because if they select an empty template they'll have to build the columns and the items themselves but they could be doing that you see the, th the brilliant thing about this is it's very uh, it's very useful and stuff because they could build a blank uh, collection if they're organizing an, an event and have different columns for different things so it's very useful i have all that explained over on the catered websites website i've done a feature article about the features of this plugin so what i want to show you there yeah so we've different options there so we have five day one main meal a day three meals a day seven day one meal a day seven day three meals a day template so if i select five day one meal a day template and i can change the name of it here so i would call it first week of uh, august and if we first week files and if we go over to the right here we can delete it we can duplicate it we can change the name and we can set a description so my first meal plan we'll call it so it's handy to put in a description for people and if you go over that there you will see the notes like that so that it reminds them about what it is so the thing is we can build it two different ways we can add an item here and search recipes so say we fancy soup there we have it it'll come up like that and you go to add item and so on and so on to each one so you build it like that so there's different options so you see here as we have a favorites so when we're on the website we can um, say we don't want to build a meal plan but we can add all our favorite recipes to the favorite category and then when we're building our meal plan we can go add item add from collection favorites and then all the recipes in the favorites will show up like that and then we have an option here to search by ingredient and we can even add our own custom recipes as well and we can add notes as well so say um say uh oh i left that note blank i want to remove that but we can put in a note say maybe uh, make a uh, curry this day so you can save a note for later like that and give it a color maybe red or blue whatever for importance and click add so that's there now but i want to get back to the main site now and i want to show you how the add to collection works on the main site so we go to the recipe index and we can browse recipes here or we can search for them as well say that we fancy this red lentil chickpea chili soup and we have a look at it here and we go ah oh, yeah we'd like to make this and the thing is just when we're here we have the prep time we have the cook time explained the total time we can even add notes here okay my personal notes so say you make it once and you have a, an idea maybe to put more spice less spice or something into it so you can save the notes and they're private to you nobody else can see them so and then the thing is as well when you're making the recipe it's actually the recipe card is really really useful here because people can check things off as they're doing things and we even have a timer as well so that when they put something on the stove the timer is set there at the bottom of the screen and they can stop it like that but they'll never forget about something in the oven or anything like that so it makes it really really useful and you can have videos for each step of the process here as well and the nutritional data is in the bottom there and they can also share recipes to facebook by email 
on Twitter, Save to Grow, that's all there. So, and of course, they can adjust the portions here as well. So you can see that the amount of ingredients needed is changing, it's dynamic. As I change that, the amount of ingredients change, and we can do that in the shopping list as well. You can build it for the amount of portions you want. So we go to Save to Recipe Box, you go to Save to Collection, and we have first week of August, and then it, we get an option here for what day we'd like to have it, like that. You might have noticed there's another option there for, we go to back to the recipe index. There's another option for groups. And that's the thing, we're only having one meal a day, but if I go to save to collection three meals a day, it lasts me the day, and then in the column, it'll go in the bottom column. It'll ask me uh, what time do, do I want it for breakfast, dinner, lunch or one of my snacks. So that's all there. People can browse the site, save their collections as they're going through it. They go back to the recipe box here and we could see that that one meal is there now that I just showed you for five day, three meals a day. And we go to collections, we go to first week of August. And there we've only put in two meals so we can check the nutritional facts of the recipes like that if we're on some type of training program then to turn that off you just click there now we want to generate the shopping list we want to select the days okay both and we want to include our notes so we will go back up here generate shopping list and there it is and folks this will work see we have the note there maybe make curry this day so it's brilliant for reminders you can put in reminders there for absolutely anything maybe you need to go to the pick up the uh, parts for a car or go to the garden center or something and uh, so we have the shopping list here this will work on your mobile phone so you can build your shopping list at home and then when you're in the supermarket you can open your mobile phone log into your account and I'll, you can check things off as you purchase them so it's super super simple and the thing is you can build your list at home there's an option here to edit the list so say we don't need chili flakes or cumin seeds we can take that off but say there's other things that we need for the house so we can go house items and we can add an item here say we need kt kitchen cleaner that's there now you want to go back up stop editing we want to save it and say we go back to our collections now and say you log back out and log back in and go up to the shopping list and we'll see it's there and our notes are there and you can see that it's saved our extra items as well so it's more than a meal planner you can use it as a personal organizer folks so I think I've covered everything in this section that I wanted to show you how useful it is going to be for your website visitors. Now I want to show you how the email marketing system works in it. Now I'll show you how the email marketing system works. I've logged into the site. So when somebody registers on the website, they're added over here as a wordpress user you can see that's me there and the email address i just put in and i've been added as a subscriber and i've been added in the fluent crm plugin that i'm using as a new recipe box user so when we go over to fluent crm the email marketing plugin that i'm using and we go to contacts we can see that i'm there now that's me there, Fishing Ireland, the uh, email address that I registered with, and I'm in the list for a recipe box, and I've been tagged as a new recipe box user. So then you're going to send the people an email welcome series and all that stuff. So that's explained over here in the course. I have it here, how to add new user signups to your emailing list and I explain what Fluent CRM is and I also explain that you don't need to use Fluent CRM although I would recommend it 
um, because there's huge cost savings in comparison to using third party email marketing services because we're sending the emails from our um, WordPress website. So convert kit and things like that can get very expensive as your email list grows. So I can help you set up Fluent CRM if you'd be interested in that. But yep, yeah, I have it covered there, how to connect your WordPress website to other email service providers such as convert kit using the wordpress fusion light plugin so that's how i've described how the users are going to sign up and use the recipe box how useful it is as an organizer and i'm just going to quickly show you if you're like i in the tutorial series here I explain all the steps how to use the Beaver Builder Page Builder plugin to set up the Recipe Box account page a step by step there, okay? And I'm just going to show you a very, very quick example of how that works. All the templates are there. I'll just go to Add New Page, Demo for Tutorial. I just want to publish that, Launch Beaver Builder. We don't use the Gutenberg page builder here. I just need to actually go to my Genesis settings, turn off the title. I need a full width content page, update that, launch Beaver Builder. You see now with a full page, go over to templates, go to save templates, and you can see that the four templates are there for the four pages you need. So if I go to recipe box registration page, that's all you have to do. It's all there for you. And if you want to change the image in the background, click on the little spanner there and you just go remove, select photo and put in your own image, whatever you want like that. Beaver Builder is so easy to use, folks. Some of these page uh, builder applications can be quite tricky. And Beaver Builder has a very, they've been in business for years. It won't slow down your site. And they've a fantastic reputation for brilliant support and everything like that. And of course, folks, it, I have a questions and answers section in the course as well. So if you have any problems, you can message me at any time and I'll sort it out for you. But look how easy that is. And then you can change the text here by just clicking on that. And then I explain it step by step how the forms work as well. So there is settings for that, but you shouldn't have to change too much folks. It's all done for you. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation and that you found it useful. And I look forward to you joining the course and getting some feedback on it. Thanks very much. Bye for now.